I'm Vasily and today we're talking about the Dominican Republic and its unique nature, unique possibilities and unique activities. So the first attraction is probably for me it's Dunes of Bani. It looks like a real desert right in the middle of green paradise. So it's insanely great and I would definitely recommend you to go there and experience this kind of activity. So Dunes of Bani, that's my choice probably number one. Second, Peninsula Samana. I definitely recommend you guys to go to Samana to experience wild nature, to experience amazing breathtaking beaches so and the nature is wild and it's like so green everything's so blue so the colors are just wild they are saturated you cannot even believe what you, what you see if you go into the dominican republic during the february uh, late february or march you can go and see whales over there that's spectacular show and you can be in the middle of this show you can see the whales you can be really nearby and you have this life-changing experience i strongly recommend you guys to go to samana and really have an experience with that third 27 waterfalls i can talk about this kind of activity for ages because it's insanely great Los 27 Charcos de Damahagua, that's how it's called in Spanish. So my life was like before and after this event because what you see there is just like breathtaking. And we have a video uh, with GoPro, our YouTube channel. You can track the, our YouTube channel and find this specific video. It's insanely great. Kids are going to love this experience. And if you are active, if you love this kind of like uh, half extreme activities, you definitely should go there and visit because like you're going to slide the real rock just down to the water and the views are just like breathtaking. Just imagine yourself, you just in the water and you see the mountains, you see rocks, you see everything. Everything is so green, so bright. So it's just like before and after. I definitely recommend you to go and do these activities. It's insanely great. It's definitely worth it. Fourth, waterfalls. Uh, there are two great waterfalls that I would recommend you to visit. If you've just taken the excursion to Samana Island, so definitely you can visit the El Limon. That's kind of green waterfall. It was called because of the color. It looks like lemon. Uh, so it's really nice. You should definitely see it. Another one waterfall that I would recommend you to visit, but it's kind of more complicated and we don't have the official program, official excursion for this kind of waterfall. It's called Agua Blanca. So it's um, located nearby to Harabacoa uh, and Constanza area, but definitely it worth doing it, worth going. But just make sure you just visiting at least one waterfall and you are taking the Samana excursion. Fifth. That's the most popular excursion in the Dominican Republic to Saona Island. Uh, I would love to mention there's like natural swimming pool over there. Just you just stay in the middle of the ocean with water like this uh, up to this level and you just can swim you, swim. you can see the starfish. You can have amazing experience during the uh, catamaran ride and speedboat uh, activities, speedboat ride. That's great. You should go this. If you go into the Dominican Republic, go to Samana Island. That's must see, must have. Six, underwater world. Definitely, if you like snorkeling and if you like scuba diving, you should go to Catalina Island. And in addition to it, you can uh, have this kind of experience. And I would recommend you, if you go with a group of people, to rent a private yacht with us and go to Catalina Island on your own. That's going to be the whole different story. You can check at our website the excursion with uh, private yacht to Catalina Island. I would strongly recommend you to do this. It's completely private and it's like unique experience. 
but at the same time you can go with a group excursion just go with everybody on the boat and have this amazing snorkeling or scuba diving experience Number seven, beaches of Barona. Imagine small rocks transparent turquoise water that goes behind the horizon. That's how can I, I can describe Barona. And it's amazing nature, friendly people, and you definitely should go there if you have a car or you rent in a car because there are no official tours over there. We are working on that, but for now you can take this experience only if you're driving over there. By the way, you can rent a bus with a driver with us, we can arrange that and you can definitely go there and visit and see this amazing nature. The list we are having here, it's not, the, it's not limited, you know, you can discover the Dominican Republic and I'm living and working in the Dominican Republic for nine years and I still have new fresh places to discover and they are just insanely great. If you just take in a plane and you just observe in the Dominican Republic, you can see how beautiful the country. You can see the nature, you can see that everything is really green, really attractive, really nice. So. Don't be afraid, discover the, the country. People are friendly and do your best to organize everything up front. Subscribe to our channel. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the Dominican Republic. Welcome to Punta Cana. See you soon, guys. See you soon in Punta Cana. See you soon at our YouTube channel.